Hello, sir. Uh, sir, we are Hello. hoping that you're keeping well. So what is the expectations from a best manager event? Yeah, so the expectation is I'm looking at uh, some uh, very exciting out of the box uh, thinking because that usually happens when uh, when colleges conduct this type of competition. So a lot of lot of uh, new things are spoken about, a lot of new things are uh, mentioned. More often than not, uh, a lot of those things might not be practical to implement. But yeah, we'll wait and watch and see how this, this set of students uh, come up uh, with their ideas and their concepts. So you've received a number of prestigious awards. What does it feel like to know that you're making such a big impact? No, so it, it really feels good. It really uh, makes you humble. It really makes you feel uh, wanted. And it really makes you feel to do more. But at the end of the day, these are basically a sort of a recognition which happens uh, for the work which one puts in. And uh, since I'm leading a set of people, I'm, I'm the team lead of my team, more often than not, I am the one who is receiving the award. So it's a felicitation for the work which has been done by multiple peoples over multiple months. And it, it feels nice to go on stage. Uh, and nowadays, uh, nowadays, it's more on a virtual basis to come on a screen and accept something. Yeah, but it, it really makes you feel good. And it really makes me feel very, very humble. Uh, so, all right, sir. So what inspired you to join a new age brand like Byjuice? And what would you say this pandemic has changed in it? What has made me join? So see, I have, if you look at my entire career, I have worked with uh, the biggest and the most structured organizations one can think about. Yeah. Uh, as I moved on from my uh, FMCG profile, which was primarily Hindustan Unilever, I was very clear that I wanted to be in a space uh, where there is more creativity, where there is a lot of uh, new things and where you are trying to make a difference or small actions are creating big uh, differences. So I ended up working with a lot of startups. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Baiju was special. Baiju as an individual was special. He's once in a lifetime entrepreneur. Yeah. And uh, education is something which after a while, all of us feels like uh, giving it back to the society because the society has given you so much. Yeah. So it was the startup ecosystem which I wanted to be in. It was the founding team which was very, very inspiring. And third, uh, it was also something which I wanted to be in the education space. Uh, so I was very, very lucky that all these three things came together at the right time. And uh, then there was absolutely not an iota of a doubt that uh, I would not be doing this. So what's it like a day in the life of a marketing head? No, no, it's, it's quite an interesting uh, day. Every day is a very, very interesting day because marketing is something which requires a lot of uh, experience, a lot of consumer understanding. You need to understand what's working, what's not working. And, and something which from a, from a creative perspective, if you have made a new advertising, for example, you would love it. I might not love it. Or I might not like it and vice versa. So, there is a lot of science which goes behind the art of marketing. So every day is different. You, you wake up to new things, you wake up to new challenges. And the last one and a half years have seen a lot of uncertainty. So every day something new is happening. One needs to uh, recalibrate plans. One needs to relook at things, what you have planned, uh, planned out. So you have a plan A and then immediately you're doing plan B. So it's a lot of excitement uh, in a day of a marketer. All right, sir. So if you could, what would you tell your younger self to do differently? Sorry, I didn't get your question. So if you could, what would you tell your younger self to do differently? I would say that if I, if I had to go back in time and tell myself, I would say that I would have probably read more. I would have probably traveled more and uh, I would have done things more smartly and put in more hard work. So. You know, it, it's a combination of a lot of things. You need to be well versed with what's happening. And that is about reading and meeting people and networking and traveling and seeing different consumer uh, spectrums. Yeah, I could have worked smarter. 
yeah and also did some more hard work because sometimes i'm very lazy so i think that lethargy i should have uh-huh. if i had not been so lethargic in my early early days of my career i could have been doing much much uh, bigger stuff than what i'm doing right now so and um if for us students with all of your years of experience if there's one thing you could tell us to motivate us or one insider secret that could help us what would it be see all of you guys are coming from very very premier institute so the basic level of uh, iq and eq is there you guys are smart you guys are very very hard working so the prerequisite the hygiene is there yeah one thing which will play out very well in your entire career and mind mind you that you guys are 21 22 year old 23 year old you have 30 35 years of a career in front of you yeah there will be ups and there will be downs but one thing at least i i tell everybody in which i try to practice is empathy you need to be empathetic to everything which you do you need to have that compassion to what you do because you are dealing with people when we got dealing with machines marketing is one business or one profile which talks to lot of people you create something for people you communicate for people you design a product for consumption or it's a service is for people so you need to have a sort of a very compassionate and a empathy lens and if you are able to maintain that uh, all of us will be super successful because the the basic criteria is met you have a degree now you are intelligent you are smart you have a good iq you have a good eq and that's why you are here yeah so yeah just just be true to yourself be human have have sympathy to whatever you are doing and most importantly it's being empathetic to whatever you do because it's it's something you're doing it back for for mankind for society for people for the larger community all right sir thank you so much for sharing your great insights with us and i hope you had a great time and will have a great time with us at simples thank you